Okay, welcome YouTube land. I am Falagar, and uh, you're watching a Let's Play video of Brogue. Um, uh, this is a roguelike, and for those of you who don't know what a roguelike is, it's kind of like a dungeon crawl, but you only have one life, um, and basically when you die, you have to start all over. Uh, sometimes that's not always the case, but... Um, uh, for the most part, that's one of the th the, the things that make a rogue like here. It's and they're extremely difficult. You're mostly trapped in in a dungeon. It's almost like a typical RPG, uh, but it's just harder, and you're limited to uh, just like a dungeon, and uh, you have like but one life. Uh, uh, another excellent one. It's called uh, Cursed Loot, and that's on the Xbox 360, which unfortunately it is not available on PC, but I would love to have done a Let's Play of that one. But Brogue, um, okay, so just uh, kind of uh, <laughs> keep in mind and prepare yourself. Uh, the graphics are not the greatest if this, uh, you know, this title screen is uh, you know, of any indication. Uh, your character is an at symbol. Uh, the monsters are just letters like J for Jackal, K for Kobold, um, and well, you'll see. It, it's mostly in the form of uh, text. The combat is in the form of text where you have to read it. Um, uh, it's it's text heavy, uh, with very limited rudimentary, uh, I, I guess like text-based graphics. Um, although you know, they use kind of like the the letters and symbols and stuff to kind of form. Uh, the map. So let's get started. We'll start a new game and it just starts you off randomly. You. See, you don't have a name. So I'm just, I'm Falagar. Level 1. Uh, my health bar is full. Nutrition bar full. Hello and welcome adventurer to the Dungeons of Doom. Retrieve the amulet of Yendor from the 26th floor and escape with it. Press question mark for help at any time. I could use see this is what what I mean see how you got the periods uh, you have the number symbol as kind of like the walls the plus our doors and your character is this okay the app symbol uh, I can check my inventory okay see and right now I have a, uh, a dagger leather armor some food you have room for 22 more items. Press A through Z for more info. So, uh, if I wanted to look at the dagger, so B, a dagger, simple iron dagger with a well-worn wooden handle. The dagger bears no intrinsic enchantment, but carries bonus of uh, plus 0.50 because of your excess strength. You hold the dagger at the ready. Okay. So. Let us begin. There's really no sound. And uh, I keep thinking there was a, something else I wanted to add to this, but uh, I guess we'll just go along. And I can uh, use the mouse pointer to highlight certain objects here to see what they are to identify them. A crimson potion. This flask contains a swirling crimson liquid. Who knows what it will do when you drink, oh, when you who knows what it will do when drunk or thrown okay so it could either be um, uh, what's the word like a uh, like a miasmic flask of some sort I think they're called miasmic right um, miasmic flask where kind of like a bomb uh, or it could be like a potion to to buff your strength now I could get there by just using the mouse by clicking step by step or using the arrow keys or I can just click on object and I quickly go there you now have a crimson potion oh what's this okay so these are some items that are of interest here oh that's cool okay so when I it here you'll see this uh, musical note here highlights to let me know that that's what that is is a flin flim porta woos it's a scroll 
uh, a Warhammer is right over here. I believe these are uh, like crevices or holes or yeah, chasm. So I can't very well go there. Okay. Let's go through the door. I'll be eating soon, so I don't know how long I'll be uh, playing for, but I can always save the game, and I'll kind of make this like a, like a semi-let's play, I guess. And even if I die, it's okay. I'll just start all over again, reroll, have another character reroll for me, and, um, and just play them. But if I don't die, I'll just be continuing with, with whatever game I have going. Uh, what are these equal sign? You see a rickety rope bridge. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, very nice. You now have a scroll entitled, okay. Okay, there's a rat here it's sleeping. The rat is a scavenger of the shallows. Perpetually in search of decaying animal matter. The rat has a 48% chance to hit you, typically hits for 13% of your maximum health, and at worst could defeat you in 5 hits. I have a 77% chance to hit the rat, could defeat me in 2 hits. Okay, is this, uh, okay, you, s you see the brink of the chasm. Let's go ahead and see if we can't kill this rat for experience. It is sleeping. Just how I attack, I can't remember. I think I just click it, right? Yeah, you just click on it. You dispatch the rat in its sleep. Uh, is this a good spot where, the, where my face is in the corner? Uh, yeah, it's not covering up anything vital. Although, when I go into my character file, yeah, it kind of does, but... I uh, guess it's not too bad. Because when I want to read more into it, it pops up right over here on the side and you can read it. So, so not, not a problem. Okay. So now that the, the, the rat is dispatched, uh, you see dense foliage. You remember seeing a, a weapon here. I remember. Let's see if there's another way to get down there. Aha! Uh -huh. You now have a sword. Okay, so cool. Let's, uh, how do I change my weapon? Ah, G, sword. Okay. A razor sharp length of steel blade shines reassuringly. The sword carries a penalty of Minus five because of your inadequate strength. Uh, yeah, how do I? Okay, my strength is 12, armor three. Uh, it will reveal its secrets to you if you defeat 20 enemies with it. Wielding the sword, assuming it has no hidden properties, will decrease your current accuracy by 35% and will increase your damage by 61%. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll equip it because. Uh, sooner I can dispatch enemies with it uh, it'll reveal what it does and maybe carry some enchantments that can counteract the penalties right now wielding a sword <clears throat> dense foliage jackal it's hunting oh, okay I could defeat it in
the jackal misses you. Two more strength would be ideal. The jackal claws at me. I killed it. Cool. Sometimes this game can be unforgiving. You know, it may seem like it's easy uh, right now, but sometimes, it, as with uh, roguelikes, uh, the difficulty can just spike at any moment, and you'll be surrounded by just a bunch of enemies, and they'll just wipe you out. Pile of gold. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of gold is, really, because are there actual shops? Oh, the rat is hunting. Okay, I defeated the rat. Somehow I defeated it from all the way over there. I wonder if that has something to do with the sword's ability. The reason why I was able to shoot so far. You found 72 pieces of gold. Uh, you see a wall-mounted torch. What the? You descend. Okay, I don't want to descend. Grass like fungus. Suspend this game. This feature is still in beta. No. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, menu. Uh, view saved recordings. Uh, quit without saving. Sleep until better. Just suspend game and quit. I don't know. What does it mean by it's still in beta? Oh, kobold. Okay, kobolds are... Now, there's different kind of lores describing them, but uh, typically they're, I believe, uh, like part jackal, part man. The kobold is a lizard in here. They're lizard-like. Lizard-like humanoid of the upper dungeons. The kobold has a 48% chance to hit you, can defeat me in four hits, I can defeat it in one. Kobold missed. Okay, it clubs me. You hit the kobold. You missed. The kobold misses. Okay, defeated him. Excellent. Now, if you're wondering why is it keep like it's kind of shaded here, that's kind of like a fog of war type thing. See how your view is obstructed when you move farther away and you can't see as much. Plus, this is a dense forest right here, right? Uh, dense foliage, I should say. Ah, uh, a warhammer. Let's get it. If a uh, few creatures can withstand the crushing blow of this towering mass of lead and steel, but only the strongest of adventurers can use it effectively, and it requires two turns to attack because of its weight. Well, I'll keep it just in case. I've never come across any kind of shops in this game, but was it? You remember seeing a potion here? How how do we remember these things? Was I here before? Yeah, but like I said, I've never come across any kind of shops. Puce potion. Okay, so what if I... I, I better not use these. I am not going to. I know some people will just randomly uh, use them, but I'm hoping for an identify scroll and I can just uh, identify these things. 
because some of these things can be deadly and this is not you don't play this like your typical RPG this is a roguelike and a wand wand yes What does that mean? Steel wand. This thin steel wand is warm to the touch. Who knows what it will do when used? You have not u used this wand. You have not yet used this wand. Okay. Call. Inscribe this particular item instead of all similar items. What? No. Apply. What does that mean? Zapping your steel wand. Or tab. Oh, okay. So I won't use it just yet. Uh oh. Why? Resist bolt of domination. Okay, am I still using the sword? Okay. Welcome to level two. Leveled up. Very cool. Ooh. Should I go ahead and use my wand of domination? Used once. A wand of domination. This wand can forever bind an enemy to the caster's will, turning it into a steadfast ally. However, the magic works only against enemies that are near death. You have used this wand one time, but do not know how many charges, if any, remain. Wands of this type can be found with one to two charges. Okay. It only works when an enemy is near death. Yeah. Okay, fine. I dispatched him in his sleep. Maybe I could have used it on the sleeping jackal, and it's probably it's in its weakened state, right? Bold. Should I test this? More fizzles. It must be depleted. Okay, kill two of them. Two of them in their sleep. Green potion. I'm doing pretty good so far, but I must not get cocky. Can get exceedingly difficult real fast. Brown potion. How do I search? Can I just. Sunlight streams through cracks in the ceiling. Okay, so it's just S, not control S or anything. Thriving on what sunlight trickles in. Yeah.
knows if I've explored this place really well, so pretty thoroughly. Okay, I'm going down. Matches on this ancient iron key are well worn. Its leather lanyard is battered by age. What door might it open? How come I cannot get it? The cage won't budge. Perhaps there is a way to raise it nearby. Ah! Oh, a pressure plate. Okay, I can throw that. Okay, the pressure plate clicks underneath the wand of domination because it's dead, so there's no need to carry it. Okay, you now have a door key. Okay. It's candlelit altar. Okay, Cobalt is wandering. Monkey is sleeping. Defeated a monkey. Great. Jacko hunting. Defeated the jackal. Bold wandering, I see him. Just saw a rat. Uh oh. Cobold is guarding. Guarding the monkey. Is it cold? This rare subspecies of bloat is flying with a peculiar vapor that, if released, will cause the floor to vanish out from underneath it. This is what I'm talking about, guys. The pit bloat deals no direct damage. We have a 70% chance to hit the pit bloat, typically hit for 200% of its time. The pit bloat dies when it when it attacks, flies, and moves erratically. And I fell. Ooh, I fell in water. Time to rest. Okay, so it's Control Z. It's odd. Didn't mean to go down there. I went from level two to four. I would like to. Oh, 139. 
gold. Ooh. I want to work my way back up because this is quite bad. Oh, yes. Getting rich. Oh, boy. Hey, got him. Who knows what it will do when read aloud. Not taking chances. Black potion. A monkey. Yeah. Got the monkey. A sleeping rat. Defeated the rat. Oh, yeah. Gold. Okay, this. Okay, it's shallow. Inventory. Okay. Do I know what the sword does yet? If you defeat five more enemies. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the food is ready. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm done. I'm going to end this. Okay, guys. I'm going to eat my brother cooked adobo, right? Uh, okay. Adobo, uh, uh, Adobo from the uh, lechon. Adobo lechon from adobo. the lechon. Lechon adobo. How fantastic is that, guys? Okay, so I'm going to end this. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, comment. Please spread the word about my gaming channel. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and see you in just a bit. When I get back, or next time when I play, we're going to find out what that redwood staff is, and maybe I might be able to dispatch five more enemies and see uh, what the sword does. So, see you guys.